I'm Wang Hianqiao. Welcome to Cuba Yamoshi. I think we can agree we are American born Chinese kids. We're more used to McDonald's, Christmas, all that stuff in American culture. But well, our parents are Chinese. Do you have any cultural arguments and differences between your parents? For example, in food, communication, all that stuff? Today we have Daniel Lin and Wang Tiao to join me to talk about this topic. Hi, my name is Daniel Lin and I'm 10 years old. Hi, my name is Tiano, and I am nine years old. Okay, of course our parents want us to be raised the Chinese way, like my dad telling me to memorize poems, learn Chinese, learn the history of China, China etc. But, well, I don't really want to do that. They want us to be perfect while we want to sit back and enjoy just being a child. They want us to, they want us to eat ch traditional Chinese food, like lo mein, dumplings, all that stuff, while we want to go to the nearest subway. They want us to study while we want to read. They want us to learn piano in Chinese while we want to sign up for fun clubs to claim our waste of time. Can you relate to this? Yeah, I can relate to this because when my mom cooks food, she always cooks Chinese food. So like when I wake up and like, what's, what's for breakfast, mom? She says, um, Chinese food. And like, I really want my mom to at least cook like uh, American food, yeah. My parents are strictly to want me to study but, I, but all I want to do is to relax and read a good book. Another example is food. I, my parents want me to eat healthily, but all, pretty much all I like to eat are ice cream, pizza, and chicken McNuggets. Um, and another thing I have to, I have to say is that like, um, my, my mom's family culture is that when she spells my birthday, it's like she doesn't celebrate birthday at all, or it's just like a little celebration. So like when I celebrate birthday, my mom thinks like uh, my whole family is enough, but I want to have like some friends to invite for my birthday. So yeah, you're actually pretty lucky you got the whole family because like at least half of my family is in China, and then my oh. cousins and stuff are in New Jersey. So I don't really get my whole family, only my parents and my brother. I feel like you're complaining. No, I'm not. You know me. Okay. So while, uh, so while uh, my when I, so while uh, some kids like my, like my some of my Chinese friends they're like, oh my American friends so they can eat at McDonald's, they can join the Pillow Fight Club, they could play video games up to midnight. I really wished I was an American kid. Nope, not I. I like the way I'm raised now. Well, not really, but I think it's okay. <laughs> Any kind of food, Chinese or not, is delicious, as long as it's food. I would never, ever trade my culture. I prefer, I prefer the Chinese ways. What about you? What do you prefer? I would stay, I would stay Chinese because, because I personally think that China is one of the greatest countries ever. Ch Chinese teachers and parents push, push kids to, to learn as they will need the knowledge in their future. Well, well, other countries might just might just let them do whatever they want to do. Um, and um, me, I like Chinese culture cultures better because like um, I'm more used to it, and like I'm I think uh, it's pretty good, and I don't want to change it. And uh, but then if you're talking about food, I mean, uh, uh, like American food, I love their crispy chicken tenders and all that stuff. But also Chinese food is also pretty good. So when it comes to food. I think it's a middle. 2019天生我才美国青少年才艺大赛舞蹈比赛全面启动初赛线上进行中午西舞分开比拼新增四到七岁儿童组报名即时出赛专业评委线上评比举行起登录 